seconde. Thank you, uh, Chair. I have been a strong, consistent supporter of volunteers and volunteering, both before I came to this Parliament and since. So, was I overjoyed when I heard this proposal on the European Solidarity Corps? Initially, yes, but there are many serious questions that need to be answered. How can we make a clear distinction between the volunteering and the occupational strands? What criteria do you intend to use, Commissioner? How can we ensure that there are no abuses in the system and that young, energetic, idealistic young Europeans do not find themselves on the fringes of precarious work? Funding is a critical issue, but we have no detail. The target seems to be 100,000 volunteers. That needs real resources. I agree with you, Commissioner. Young people will play a key role in promoting and strengthening solidarity. It's crucial that the programme delivers a quality experience for volunteers and the communities they serve. You spoke of many different programmes, LIFE, Erasmus, European for citizens, rural development, to name a few. But I need to know where is the coherence. We need that detail. You have used a lot of fine words and your intent is good, but I'm concerned that this is a rush job. It's not fully thought out and that clear parameters have not been set and that sufficient funds are not in place. I want it to succeed, but I am concerned that we haven't yet put the proper structures in place.